Hi everybody, so one of the questions I always get asked around um, update time is how do I update my DAISY private community server to the latest update? So in this case we're talking about DAISY 114. Now as you're watching this video, DAISY 114 update to 1.14 update may not have been released yet, okay, because it's currently 5 to 2 on the 29th of September and I think I saw a tweet from Bohemia Interactive saying that they were going to update around about 4 o'clock. So don't panic yet, but generally what happens when we get an update with Nitrado, um, really I'm looking at console, PlayStation, Xbox here, what happens is they'll update the daisy.exe file um, and the PBOs, the things that run the game, the things that we don't have access to, but they won't update the XMLs. So these are the things that control the loot on your server. So that's the thing that controls things like the new for mass uh, assault rifle um, and the new starlight scope and the new NBC yellow gear so it's important that we do update those files so I'm going to show you how to do that now so here we are in my Nitrado um, panel and I want to go to the web interface for this server so this is my Chernera server so let's just let's just go into there Dum -dum 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 -dum, and we go through now it's important to remember that doing this we're not going to wipe anything away at all okay from our server everything is going to people's bases are still going to be there they might be in a gas zone now but they're still going to be there people's um, characters with all the equipment are still going to be there the only way that you can wipe your server with nitrido console servers is by doing a reinstall all right so as long as you don't do that you're going to be okay all right so what you need to do is you need to go to settings general here and then we want to scroll down and we're looking for the bit that says reset xmls to default see it says reset mission xml to default so you would tick that and you would save and you would restart the server and what that will do that will then take the new xmls from um, Bohemian Interactive or from Nitrado Central bit where they save it all and it will then apply them now remember what this is doing that's getting rid of all your custom XMLs as well so if you've uploaded any different ones like my ones for example they're all be gone and you're going to be you're going to have vanilla 1.14 XMLs with all the new good stuff in with the FAMAS or the LAMAS assault rifle with the new Starlight Scope with the cam injector with the new NBC stuff all that wonderful stuff you're going to have it um, and then you're going to have to mod them afterwards. Um, and then you just, as I say, so you tick that, restart the server, untick it, and then save it. Sorry, sorry. You tick it, you save it, you restart. Once it's, it's restarted, you untick and then you save it again. So that if you do any mods, it doesn't reset it. Okay. And then what you want to do is you want to go into your file browser. And then you want to go into Daisy Missions. Um, it'll be Xbox missions or PlayStation. Go into Chernerus or Livonia or Enoch if it's a Livonia server. You want to go into DB folder or the DB directory. And then you want to go into the events file. Okay. And then you want to search for Contam like this. Okay. And then you search for that and then what you should see come up if your server has been updated is if we're looking here static contaminated area not trader but just static air static contaminated area will pop up that way you'll know that your server has been updated now as of uh two minutes to two on the afternoon of the 29th of september 2021 the server hasn't been updated yet so mine hasn't been updated but if that appeared i'd know you'd know it would then work and then you're there so that my friends is how you were to update it and to keep everything so what i'll do now is, so let's say you wanted to reinstall everything so you want to wipe everything and start again what you would then do is you would then go down here to reinstall um, and that will completely wipe your server but before you do that actually what you want to do is you want to go into configuration profiles and you want to put a you know um i don't know 114 update create a configuration profile like that and that saves all your whitelists your passwords it will save um your night settings your daytime settings your server name all stuff like that then you would reinstall and then you would restore 
that update and that will then put the names back on your server but that will wipe everything so everybody's progress is gone all the bases are gone and everything like that so be very careful so there you go my friends that is how you install 114 that's how you update your xml's to the 114 um, files and that's how you check it by going into the file browser going into your events look for that contam event the contaminated area event because then you know you've got the new one and then you'll be good to go there we go hopefully that useful if it has been hit like if you want to see more of the same subscribe and i'll see you again soon